Yo, what's going on guys, Swanson X here, back on our brand new episode of the WWE 2K20 My Career Mode episode number 14 story episode for your faces. Last time, I'm pretty sure it was pretty eventful, I can't even remember, um, but I remember the last last thing that happened is we were brawling with the person in the top left right there, that's Carmella, she is the Raw Women's Champion. We're getting straight into this, make sure you leave a like. At the end of the video, if you do enjoy it, comment something down below, I will reply. Subscribe because I upload every single day for your faces. And uh, let's get right into this. And it's on! Like Donkey Kong! Oh! I just threw Carmella into a brick wall. <laughs> I straight up threw her into a brick wall. And I'm going to do it again. Oh yeah, that's what I thought. Have it. Give me the chair. I want the chair. Get her to yellow health. Ah! I can cash in right now, right here, right now. Come on, I got her to yell health. She's pretty much at yell health. Give me, really, you know what? Let's hit her with the chair one last time. Satisfaction. Oh, and I missed. Yes, haha. -ha. And again, go into the interview. Okay. Wait, wait, it's the interview area. Where's that? Over here. Run over here, Carmel. I'm just absolutely destroying her. All oh, right, I guess the thing. Come on, keep, can can you continue to keep going this way, please? Thank you. Oh, jump a superplex. And a clothesline. Where's that interview area? We need to find it. Come on, come with me. Is it over here? Carmel is down, right? You know what? Let's get her up. Get up. Thank you. Right, where, where is it? No, it's not here, that's the canteen. Or the area, place. I need my stamina. I'm a bit far away from her now, like. Come on, where's the stupid place? Oh, there we go. Hey, don't steal my briefcase. Hit your finisher on Carmella near the garbage truck in the parking lot. We will do that right here, right now. All I'm saying is that that interview area wasn't there. <laughs> oh my god. I think something's going to happen with the money in the bank briefcase. It will go into the garbage truck, I think. Come on. Come here. I'm trying to hit my finisher, it's not working. There we go. Up and Red manages to get Carmella down. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh wait, wait, it's, it, it's, she's gonna put it in. Wait, what's Carmella doing with the briefcase? I think she's gonna try to destroy it. Come on, Red just won it. Someone needs to stop this. No! <laughs> Good luck cashing in on me without a briefcase. God damn it. I got here as fast as I could. What's the big news? This. Is that a dead animal? No. I spent all night digging through the garbage truck and found your money in the bank contract. That's great. And it also explains the smell. I think that's mostly me. I skipped showering because I couldn't wait to tell you the good news. You're a true friend, but please don't touch me right now. Fair enough. So is the briefcase in the bag too? No. It was completely destroyed, but all that really matters is your contract survived. Besides, you can always just make a new briefcase. True. Well, thanks again. I really owe you one. Ah, don't worry about it. I ended up scoring some sweet bonus items from the garbage truck. Got a few rolls of wrist tape with a bit left on them, a stack of Rusev pictures that are either covered in salad dressing or baby oil stains, and check this out. I think that's possibly Vince McMahon's half-eaten steak. Now that could be worth something. Oof. Cool. Why don't you tell me more about your disgusting trash treasure after you get cleaned up? In the meantime, I'll work on a new Money in the Bank briefcase design. Ooh! You could decorate it with my Rusev garbage pictures. Um, yeah, maybe. Nice.
All right, here we go. New, oh, what's this? Traditional women's red, oh, I like the red one. What's this? Covered in stained Rusev pictures. Design your own briefcase. Oh. I like the red one. Um, just because it says red. Design your own. You know what, yeah, we're just going to pick the red one because, yeah, why not? We've all heard the saying, don't write checks that your mouth can't cash. Well, after last night, there's a new version. Don't write checks that your briefcase can't cash in after Carmella destroys it with a garbage truck. It really rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Sorry, Red, but I proved what everyone already knew. Mella is money, and you'll always be trash. Um, what is that? Did you make your own briefcase? Real cute, but I think you need to take your DIY and go di bye. I'm not going anywhere, because it's not the briefcase that matters. It's more symbolic than anything. What really matters is the contract inside that's good for a title match at any time. And I still have that thanks to my disgusting yet loyal friend. There's no way this is legit. Actually, Randy Orton just signed off on it, so it's official. You can't do this. I destroyed your briefcase. This should not be happening. Sorry, princess, but it is. So what do you say we finish what we started? just 24 hours ago and now red might be setting herself up for a repeat that could certainly happen but throughout the years money in the bank briefcase holders have cashed in at a highly successful rate let's see if red can continue that trend here tonight Here we go! Cash in time! Win a match, win the match. Yes, we are winning the Raw Women's Championship, guys. And I. Oh! Reversal! Oh! Look at that, it spinning kicks. When it says win a match via pinfall, it's like pretty much guaranteed you're gonna win. But yeah, let's do this. That was an interesting little thing. I, I was seeing the same in my head when watching it. Um, is that yeah the briefcase means literally nothing it's a contract that matters because yeah <laughs> what's the other what's the only thing that says you're allowed to not a freaking briefcase a contract oh look at that slap but yeah i took i, I accidentally was upgrading uh, red's like attributes and i put poison mist on the uh, like the what's called the skill or the comeback or payback or something whatever it's called um oh what a move Someone drop! Uh, and yeah, I forgot to take it back off, so I don't have resiliency. But Carmella definitely does, and that is irritating. Hopefully, she kicks out um, after the signature and you, like, well, uses the resiliency. Because that would be pretty much perfect. I hate how we're both wearing red, it's really irritating. Even though Carmella's is more like a orangey red. It's, eh. Mine's is more like. Dark red, like the raw red. Oh, need it a face. We're just absolutely destroying Carmella right now. Oh, look at the dead left. Oh, what a move. Oh, Marley punches here. Right, you know what? I'm going to try and save that blue line as sign uh, signature. Uh, stamina. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and wait that. Because I always get out of stamina so quickly. It's the one thing that happens to me in WWE all the time. And I can never, ever, ever, ever keep my stamina. Oh, and how the hell did I go out the ring? Oh, right hand. German superplex time. Here we go. Oh, German superplex. And a roll. 
right clothesline. Come on, for the Royal Women's title. Kick out, use resiliency. Woo, we won! There we go. Raw Women's Champion, Red. We finally done it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure one of them says win Raw Women's Championship. Somewhere. I wish it wasn't crossed out. Yeah, there we go. It's the third one from the bottom. There we go. And so it is with great honor that I induct the package deal, Red and Trey, into the WWE Hall of Fame. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> no. Wow. Thank oh, you. Oh, incredible. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank All you. Right. Thank you guys so much. All right. Almost 20 years ago, we were a couple of not so popular high school kids who bonded over our love of WWE and became best friends. But we never thought it was possible that someday we'd be WWE superstars ourselves, let alone stand on this stage tonight being honored as two of the very best of all time. By the way, I totally thought we could do it. He didn't. Going off script already, huh? Well, that didn't take long. Fine. Where was I? Here we go. But one day at lunch, we made a list. This piece of notebook paper would become the roadmap to our success in WWE. It contained our goals, hopes, and wildest dreams. And it changed everything. Over the years, we added a lot of new things to the list, and pretty much everything got crossed off except for one huge final achievement. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. And unless anyone in charge has a last minute change of heart, I think it's safe to say that will be crossed off in a little while. I'm not going to say this is a bigger achievement for me than it is for my friend. But let's be honest, when I first got to WWE, not many of you thought I was Hall of Fame material. What he's trying to say is he wasn't exactly the most respected superstar in the locker room. <laughs> well, let's face it, no one other than you liked me. But a lot of that was my fault. I was brash and confident, but didn't have the experience to back it up. Sure, I had a universal title win, but it was mostly considered a fluke. And when it came to the list and my career goals, I really only cared about crossing off the fun things that came along with being a WWE superstar. Winning dance contests, getting an action figure, a cool t-shirt, being in a video game, a movie. <laughs> Which, of course, brings me to The Miz. What's up, buddy? I see you. <laughs> yeah. There were a lot of parallels between our personalities, which explains why I wasn't that liked, and also why we made such good adversaries. I mean, who could forget our legendary battle over the lead role in Rank and File 4? All right, guys, so I'm going to keep this nice and short, and we're going to end it there. I'm going to keep it focused on Red's title win and cash in, pretty much. Um, but that was pretty cool how... Uh, we got to see the actual Hall of Fame thing and uh, yeah if you did enjoy this make sure you leave a like subscribe comment down below I will reply to it couldn't get my words out there and uh, yeah I'll catch you with a next episode or a random game video next time peace